Welcome to episode 32 of the Pack of Winning series. As you can see, we have three cards. I've got the Kai Hubbard MVP, a card I'm really looking forward to. As you know, I'm a Labour Cusin fan. Leonard Rope Hadness from PSG. As you can see, it's a special on the mount card. It's called Passmaster. UCL 2019-20 Passmaster 93%, as you can see there. And also says a little Passmaster down below which is quite cool and another um kind of like on the mount card is Al alvaro or the zola from real madrid as you can see is a new signing i actually can't tell you what type of card this is this is a signing card is a um, new signing for bayern munchen january 20th i think he's gone back to real madrid now because that was just alone but anyway um, by the way, the Leverkusen MVP, aka Kai Havertz, is, um, almost sold out. So, if you're a Leverkusen fan, buy it now. But, anyway, um, the past master cards, um, I don't know where you can buy these, except for, um, the shop that I use, the Corinthian seller. Oh, I know it's a little dark, so just put it like that. But, I mean, I highly recommend it, even though, not, not really these cards, this card, there's more Pathmasters. Uh, don't don't be disappointed when I'm telling you that there's no Thomas Muller. I, 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 I'm literally no idea why, but I, I think there's no Thomas Muller. I can't 100% confirm, but I don't think there's Thomas Muller. But, yeah, there, there's a few Pathmasters, not highly recommending this one, but I, I just picked this one. Because I want some weird cards. And because this one's probably um not the only PSG Pass Master, there's another one like Verratti. I can't remember if Verratti or De Maria. Some someone like that. But yeah, this Curtis. And another card I want to talk about is Ordezola. Is that I don't think Ordezola really deserves a seventy eight. I think he's like overrated. After all, he played, like, five games for Bayern München. And, like, all the other new signing cards have been quite successful. Except for Jackson Fernandez. <laughs> Takuma Minamino. Takumi Minamino. After all, we thought he was useless. But, I mean, after what you saw, um... I really think he's actually a skillful Japanese, or is he Japanese? Yeah, I think so. But, um, another card is, um, the, what was that, the Leipzig player, Danny Olmo. Um, again, a really successful player at Leipzig, um, signed from Dynamo Zagreb. Um, and then... Another card is obviously Jetson, who didn't turn up that well. Obviously, probably even lost the game for us in the Caribbean Cup. But I can't remember what the other card was. Can you please tell me in the comments? I mean, I can literally go get my binder right now, but that's gonna take a lot. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm pretty dumb. Sorry. Holland. Erling Holland. Um, I have your thoughts on it. Of Bundesliga students of Omo or De Zola and now Holland, which is obviously a really, really successful player for Borussia Dortmund, and I think he really deserves this card. But on the other hand, back to this card, or De Zola is quite overrated. But that's just my thoughts, okay? You can think or De Zola is a great right back, and he just and the and the coach Hansi Flicker just didn't give him an, enough game time. But yeah. That's my thoughts of these three cards. It's a little special because I'm doing it quite late. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye for now.